Okay, hello and welcome to the Grind Podcast. I'm here, Arnell Alisea from Visionary Business Development. I'm here with uh, Michelle Burke. Say hi. Hello, uh, my name is Michelle with Possibly. Good to see you today, Arnell. Yes, yes. Episode three or three. Yes. Yeah, right? I think it's three. Yeah, episode three. three. I don't know. Everything's running together with, uh, you know, it's a, a week five million of, uh, of COVID quarantine. So cabin fever is getting me all stir crazy here. So, uh, so yeah, so the grind is a podcast that we're usually drink coffee. Um, so now we have coffee on the I've side. I've got my I coffee or no. I do, I do not have my <laughs> coffee. I, I have, I have nothing but, uh, well, beer, but <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should switch this to a beer podcast. I think that would be fantastic. Or wine, yeah, or the, insert the your hops, beverage the, of choice. The hops podcast. All right, okay. So uh, we're here, and we're going to talk a little bit about a, 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 a subject that's a little bit off of the the COVID thing, right? And basically about um, it, it is employee experience also in a recession. Like first, everybody has to know what is the employee experience and uh, what's this in the causing the initial friction? So there's a lot of challenges at this time. There are employees being let go. There are employees that are working from home that don't know how to work from home. There are employees that are all, not just employees, but also teachers. <laughs> I was on a, on a webinar where the, one of the attendees said, I'm now not just a developer, but I'm also a second grade teacher. So uh, that, that is affecting the employee experience as a whole. And then as far as the recession component of that, or what does that mean? I think that we are, our employee experience has changed in some cases positive, in some cases negative. So there are in individuals that are working from home that enjoy it. And there are those that don't. And then they, you can separate those into two categories. Plus there are people that have been let go. And obviously that is a negative experience in most cases. I mean, I don't think that there are a lot of people that are welcoming that. So I don't, I don't know if you have any thoughts on that or no. True, true. So, uh, so when we're talking about the this kind of like shift in paradigm with for for pretty much every organization out there, um, what do you find are like kind of like the best ways to for management to really understand how the change is impacting uh, their workforce and their productivity? I, ultimately, well, I think there are organizations that are doing a broad brush survey would be one option, but that's not as personal, and I think. I mean, you certainly could do that. You could survey your employees and you could then take action. If you're going to survey, you better take action on the data. Otherwise, people aren't going to take them in the future and they're going to disregard them. But I, I think personally, it's having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, whether that's something like this via video chat, a phone call, uh, you, or you know, even a, a quick email to check in. How are you doing? What's happening in your world? How can I help you? How can I help you do a better job? Or is there something going sideways for you? So you're just asking mm -hmm. questions and being a human mm -hmm. to find out. I think that would be that would be my recommendation as a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So now, uh, there's one thing that I always found interesting is that how uh, the different sizes of businesses are going to are going to manage uh, doing just the thing that you, you just said. It's very easy in a small organization of 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40 people for the executive board and the, and the, and the company leaders to go directly to the front lines and say, hey, you know, how, how are you doing on an individual basis? Uh, and then you have obviously a more hierarchical uh, type of information flow where you have the front lines talk that then, and that one-on-one -on -one experience, that in-person experience is actually uh, meted out by the, the senior managers and then from there the VP and then right on, right on up the food chain. But when you get to the executive level, right, it, how much of those personal experiences are, is really percolating up to you and how do you then uh, kind of get an overall look of the organization if your organization is large to really affect change? Well, I, and you're talking about, I mean, it's employee size, maybe 
I don't know, 200, 500 or more. Is that where you're thinking? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. 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 You know, we're, cause if we were only, you could only build really 150 build and maintain what about 150 connections and make and keep them viable. So anything above those numbers, I would imagine I would consider to be, you know, a large organization from an employee standpoint, you know, um, cause I usually do, I usually have like a workforce optim optimization survey that I put mm -hmm. forward, you know, and uh, it's, it's a 60 question, super long thing, but once it's done, I really have a, uh, a grade that I give each sector of each part of the workforce on their productivity, on their efficiency, you know, on their communication and on their, on, and how their technology is supporting all of that. Uh, and then it gives me an overall grade for an or, for for the organization as a whole. Uh, you're more on the one to one person, and I find that to be a very interesting and unique uh, uh, position because how do we get from the front lines to the executives in a way that's meaningful? Well, I mean, personally, I think that one one tool that we could use that would be really cool, especially right now, since we are working from home, is to use Zoom breakout rooms or something like that. Mm -hmm. So then you could have smaller dialogue within teams, but then you could have the leaders part of that conversation. So then you're sharing out what some of the challenges are, and then it's real time. I think that would be amazing if we could do something like that. That would be kind of cool. Uh, it, it, it's interesting because when I think about, uh, it's usually in startup culture when you're when you're uh, when you're creating and focus uh, focus groups, right? Or you're testing right. new products and stuff like that. And uh, you always take uh, some sort of elements from each from each potential audience, and and then and then you know you query them and spoke with blind blah 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 blah. But Hawthorne, right? Yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> but you can really do that yeah, very well within your own within your own organization. You can say, okay, well, you know, I take some people that are from sales, from marketing, from you know, uh, ops, logistics, supplies, you know, and from IT, you know, bring them all together in a room and say, okay, well, you know, out of the two hundred or, or however many employees I actually have, you know, these f four or five representatives from each organ uh, from each uh, division uh, kind of give me kind of the gist of what's going on and what the feelings are on the front line. So you can really get your, get your feelers out there as an executive and, and make and make good decisions for your employees because you don't want the ones that are struggling to, uh, with the, with this remote technology to stay. So uh, stay on the low pr productivity side. You want them to, you know, get back in the game and become and become the people that you hired them for. Exactly, and I think you also want to be want them to be a participant in the process, right? So, I mean, surveys are certainly an option. That that can that that certainly is an avenue, but it's it's less personal. Mm -hmm. And then you have the one on one, which is definitely on a personal scale. Mm -hmm. The breakout rooms is kind of in the middle. So, I mean, I think those are that's, three viable options. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I wonder if uh, maybe even after this, that that becomes kind of like the norm instead of doing these, you know, uh, uh, divisional surveys or, you you know, you're waiting for reports up from your, from your lower management that, uh, uh, that, that you end up taking the time to take an hour out and, and meeting with a group of five to five to 10 employees from different sectors and saying, Hey, you know what, what's happening out there? Give me, let me know. And then creating that personal bond between them. And I think that's kind of like a morale type thing too, right? But it is, it is. And you, you can also use the, the poll functionality. So if you want some anonymity and, and people are afraid to speak up, that could be another way to get at the data mm -hmm. so that you can have impacting change or sure. find out what's going on without someone feeling like they'll be targeted, which would be pretty cool too. Sure. Well, that's some great information. We got to work towards wrapping up. What's a kind of like the major takeaway that you want everybody to get out of this? I, I think that it's to be aware that folks are struggling and understand the struggles so that they can turn those challenges into solutions mm -hmm. so if it, they, we talked about three different ways to get that information survey being one you know one-on-one -on -one, uh, being another and then some type of breakouts breakout groups or or focus groups uh, that could be a, a third way and then taking the data to make lasting change based on what bubbles up to the top Maybe pick your top three and then start working on those so that your employees feel that you're, they really matter. No, that's great. That's great. Well, Michelle, I think that's all the time we have for today, but uh, let's, let's, 
let's circle back and do this monthly or something. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> right. With coffee or a beer. That's true. That's true. All right.